Valley have won again, six to five. That's put the Cleveland Indians in first place ahead of the Minnesota Twins uh, by a game. They were 11 and a half back, and Carlos Santana, American League All-Star this year, putting his team on top with that dinger, and we shall see how long it stays. Uh, I mentioned this because I mentioned before about, uh, and I did my commentary on Rob Manfred, and I think that Manfred has the uh, chance to be the worst commissioner ever in sports. And I think of the four major pro sports, and by that, I'm sorry, MLS. I know it's Bristol week. I'm, I'm going to limit this to teams, and yes, I know NASCAR has teams, but teams that are named after a city and or state. So, you know, Minneapolis Lakers, Minnesota Vikings. Let's, you know, get those sort of things. You know, those leagues. I'm going to go for, you know, baseball, NFL, I guess, you know, I'm not going to evaluate, uh, well, I could, I guess, but the AFL with Al Davis when he was the commissioner, what kind of a commissioner was he, you know. Uh, NBA, sorry, ABA, I'm going to throw, you know, you got your merger, that's what you wanted, you know. NHL, sorry, WHA, you got your merger, isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> uh, so we'll do that, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think, USFL commissioner and all those, you know, Chet Simmons, what was that? He used to run ESPN in its infancy. I don't know. We're going to look at Vince McMahon and the XFL. You get what I'm, okay, I'm not sure the XFL is, you know, major commissioner and all this. So we could make a debate on that. But I, I came up, I said, you know, John Ziegler probably, because Ziegler could never, get, not only did he never get the right TV deal, and perhaps that was uh, established before by Clarence Campbell, who was his predecessor as the NHL. They were presidents back then. But this guy was actually fired, at, you know, was actually removed when the NHL went into uh, their first strike. So, I mean, think about this. He actually, you know, went from ESPN to Sports Channel America. And I know the Sports Channel America gave him more money, but he went and he said, you know, we'll be going into instead of 60 million homes, uh, 25 and a half million homes, and many of our own markets won't even be able to get the games. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> instead of saying, well, we can't lose the, you know, well, yes, wait a minute. Okay. Let's say this. We'll get this, but can we develop where maybe we can go into a marketing plan with the network uh, for a certain part of the revenue, and we can then make unlimited money from all of this. And we'll get in the same amount of homes. Could we try something like that? That was beyond him. No. That was beyond him. So... Uh, but I think Manfred, and I want to show you how clueless Manfred is. I mentioned, okay, we're sports commissioners, right? We're sports commissioners. And I said, okay, Vince McMahon, XFL, right? Okay. Was he actually the commissioner? Or, you know, I he's got to be, I guess. But anyway. They got that players weekend in Major League Baseball. Now think about this. This is Major League Baseball thinking, okay, how do we market ourselves? What should we look to to market ourselves? I know the XFL! What with Vlad Guerrero Jr. putting ELK on his back and all the... What, nobody came up with he hate me? They actually have gone to the XFL for marketing. This is why Manfred... I think is probably going to wind up being the worst commissioner ever of a major league, you know, sport. I, I think he absolutely, you know, and I, as well as I said, you know, the Field of Dreams game, I thought, you know, hey, that sounds good. And then I started thinking, wait a minute, you're embracing Field of Dreams, which had certain overtones that are going to appeal to one side of the political coin but not the other. And the NBA has done that. And you know what? The NBA, I think, is sort of stuck. And there's a reason why they don't take on the NFL. 
It's because they've gotten too political. It's because, let's face it, if you're a Heartland Trump supporter, are you really going to embrace a team that is coached by Greg Popovich? Honestly. By the way, the another story on that here coming up that I'll get to in the next uh, half hour or so. But yeah, to actually look to the XFL for market... I don't know. What else are we going to have here? You know, this is Manfred. He can't even figure out how to put up netting to save the fans' life, which, by the way, the Astros are now saying that they're going to do. But absolutely, you know, being able to do uh, get rid of intentional walks, finding hate in the baseball logo. You want to talk about why the NFL is number one I'm going to tell you, they're like, you know, look, guys, trying to find hate in Washington Redskins? It's a little extremist, don't you think? Baseball makes that change. Basketball finds it in Washington Bullets. How'd that work in that Toronto championship celebration? Hmm. So, we should be talking about that Santana home run. That should be camp. What helmet Antonio Brown is going to wear? What's more exciting than, you know, Carlos Santana putting his team in first place with a walk-off home run? I mean, here, listen to Terry Francona gloat about it. He's the Indians manager, but I think you knew that. He has come up so big for us. He's been so consistent. You know, right when you get punched in the stomach, he takes a swing like that. I mean, that was a gorgeous swing. I mean, he just... I mean, it's, it's, I know the last two days, but I mean, he's been doing it all year. And, you know, okay, maybe that wasn't the most articulate thing you've ever heard, but nevertheless, uh, you, he's talking about a great sports moment. It's on national TV, and I just got, what are we talking about? Well, Twitter reports Antonio Brown uh, is, is going and asking for things from his fan. All right. So about football and sports talk, we'll talk about that next Tri-City Sports Now. For the pinnacle.